Well, whether it's across the country or right here in Maine, many of our bridges are crumbling, while politicians say revitalizing our infrastructure continues to be a top priority. Now, one of those bridges has just been replaced. Its builders say it should stand up to time and the elements better because it, its beams aren't made of steel, but something new. New Center Maine's Sam Rogers takes us to Hamden, where the composite meets the road. The grist mill bridge in Hamden may look like any other bridge, but it's actually made up of new composite technology. And it's the first in the nation to use G-beams, which check all the boxes when it comes to improving infrastructure. It takes a lot less equipment to get it to the site, it takes a lot less equipment to build it, and it lasts longer. Cheaper, lighter, more durable. Check. Dr. Habib Dagger runs the Humane Advanced Structures and Composite Center, where students like Cody Sheltra were a key part of this class project. Well, I hope we passed. <laughs> he says this process started with computer models, then to experiments, and now applications in the real world. It's a cool opportunity to get to see work that we designed actually be implemented. I love the fact that we're building stuff here in Maine and supporting main jobs, bringing in engineers right out of grad school. Fresh out of grad school, Anthony Deba now works for AIT Bridges, the brewer-based company, another piece of this collaboration. There's a solution to a problem, which is infrastructure durability. These engineers say this bridge will stand for 100 years without the need for constant repairs of the deck or the surface we drive on. Every about 40 or 50 years, uh, we don't have to jackhammer the deck off. And this new technology allows us to actually unbolt the deck, pull it off, and put another one on. Maine DOT Commissioner Bruce Van Note adding this technology is the future of transportation infrastructure. But the public doesn't believe it until they see it. <laughs> they can see it. So I do think it's a turning point in that regard. Commissioner Van Note adds not only will Maine continue to work on similar bridge projects, but it will also be exporting this technology as well. AIT Bridges is loading up the composite G-beams on a tractor trailer next week and sending it to a project site in Florida. In Hamden, Sam Rogers, New Center, Maine. Now, in case you're wondering, it's thought the composite beams will increase a bridge's lifespan by about 25 years when compared to those made of concrete or steel.